Uh, hi, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for taking the evening off to be with us. And here, I hope I'm not popping on the mic. Um, this is a, a seminar on the writings of Ko Pao Kun, uh, and I thank Centre 42 for welcoming us here, and they've been wonderful about it. Uh, and uh, we're going to do a play in, uh, in November that follows on, on to this, from this particular seminar, and I think that we're on to something good. I think that, you, that some of you might know that I work for SMU. I am, strangely, an associate professor of theatre and performance studies, um, with hardly any theatre to teach anyway. Uh, so today, I'm very, very happy to have with me six, I think six, right? Six, 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 six. Six students from my class, uh, Postmodern Theatre Studies, and we are the ones that are putting up the play, uh, which will be in November, the first week of November, here at Centre 42. And again, admissions are free. My, my students here are Hero, on the left, Zero, and then who's next? T Terry, uh, and that's Nate. Nathan, can I call you Nate? Okay. And that's Lewis, and that's Chesin. And that's Cheyun. Okay, uh, what they do is they're going to do some readings. Now, I'm also in uniform, uh, in costume. I'm dressed like an uh -uh. Because we're doing Mama looking for her cat, and there's a little scene where Mama uh, speaks entirely in Hokkien, uh, and my Hokkien is very bad, uh, but never mind. Uh, with my dear friend Ali. Uh, he's going to speak in Tamil, and I told him he can say anything in the world, including ABC, because none of us knows. Uh, I'm very, very glad to have you here, Jen Hong, because I'm dedicating the seminar to your dearest mother. Have I got a picture? No. Wait, wait, I got a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an IT idiot. Ooh, picture. <laughs> my dear friend, uh, Le Kuan, who I, whenever I look at her, I say she's so dignified and quiet, and I'm this noisy, bumbling, kalangkabo, don't know, drop this, drop that, that, that person. But no. well, you need all types. And of course, my very, very precious friend, uh, Ko Pao Kun, uh, whom I have the privilege uh, of working for many years with. But Pao Kun and I entered uh, English language theater around the same, same time. Pao Kun is almost 10 years my senior, almost exactly, and Ali is 10 years my junior. So we're like steps of a ladder, I, I, I keep telling them. Um, so uh, Pao Kun began to write for English around 1984, actually. So we, we roughly came in at the same time because Emily of Emerald Hill was 1985. This particular uh, seminar is called Big Bird and the Cat, and um, when uh, uh, in round 2001 or a little later when you know we lost Paukun in 2002 and in 2001 I spoke to him on the phone because he you know he was too ill to receive me and I, I talked to him about what are the plays that I have to do uh, from his uh, range and he told me Margaret I want you to do The Eagle and the Cat and he said to me oh, that's my most important play and I said of course, of course I will do it and I, I did indeed do it in 2009 with SMU students and we are doing a portions of Eagle and the Cat again in November. It's an adaptation of, of three of Pao Kun's plays, the Eagle and the Cat, uh, the Evening Climb, and Mama Looking for Her Cat. We, we sort of like put it all together uh, in a play in which I sort of uh, changed the words to allow them to, to meld together. Um, why Big Bird and the Cat? I feel that it, he was most transparent in this play. It was almost autobiographical in my in my um, opinion, and I felt very strongly that it, this comes from the style called social realism, uh, and uh, it, it started off in the May 4th movement, May 4th, 1919. Uh, there was a, a protest by students from uh, Beijing University, and uh, that was the start of the individuals being recognized in uh, communist China. And one of the things that, that came out of this particular era, you actually uh, from, left, from the left wing, from communist um, side, is this idea of social realism, which comes across in most art. So it includes, for example, in painting, people went away from the abstract. Uh, then when the, the social realism came along, people went, make, it made things very, very real. And it wasn't in the romantic style of, say, the Renaissance. Social realism was just very, very, very real. 
and they paint it almost like a, a photograph. Because they say, well, what are you trying all the same? Go to the people, know what they're feeling, and talk about them, write about them, paint them. No need to add anything extra because they are the, 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 the truth. And that's all you need to investigate. So, it, it, so my feeling, therefore, with Pao Kun being autobiographical is because it came from the social realism uh, style, which means say it as it is. I want to especially investigate these metaphors, these tropes of the big bird and the cat. Because he uses big bird and the cat uh, quite often in his plays. And the one where they really come together is the eagle and the cat. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time telling you about the play The Eagle and the Cat. <laughs> 